With all of New York and MLB watching, we had ourselves a little bit of an upset last night in the Bronx as the Mets lost to the Yankees 4-2. Here to help figure out what happened and to see how tonight could shake up is New York Post Mets beat writer Mike Puma. Mike, let's jump right into it because our boy Mad Max Scherzer had a, a bit of a rough night on the mound. He gave up a big homer to judge and allowed four runs. So can we just chalk that up as just a bad day at the office for Max, or is there some sort of growing issue with the Mets ace? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think there's an issue right now. This is two straight starts where he's given up four runs, and that's, that's the first time uh, this season he's done that. But he's also uh, faced two very good lineups in the Braves and the Yankees here. Uh, we're a little bit into the dog days of August. The thing I look at is Scherzer still giving them uh, the innings right now. It's not like he's, uh, you know, I think he'd be more worried about it if he, if he was getting knocked out in the fourth or fifth inning, but he's, he's still giving them length. So, uh, you know, at this point, I wouldn't worry about Max Scherzer. All right, the media side in me had to ask that question to kind of, you know, stir the pot up a little bit. And speaking of questioning themselves with Scherzer's loss last night, do you think uh, Buck may be regretting starting Walker tonight instead of DeGrom? No, I, I don't think so at all. Uh, I, I don't think Showalter necessarily looks at the opponents here and, and tries to, to line up pitchers to match uh, uh, the teams the Mets are playing now. Degrom uh, probably needs a couple of extra days here. I think that's that's probably the biggest issue. But they also they also want to get Walker back out on the mound. Uh, it, it's been a week uh, since he he left that start in Atlanta with the with the back soreness. Um, so if you didn't pitch Walker tonight, you got the off day tomorrow. And then you're you're stretching to Thursday. You're getting into nine day territory. It's almost you wonder if he he loses a little bit something. So uh, I think right now they're they're probably doing the prudent thing, getting uh, Walker back out there uh, as soon as they can, and and getting Degrom some extra rest because they're they're treating him with uh, you know extra caution here. They want to make sure they have Degrom for the duration. All right, Walker. They're going to use Walker's arm tonight. So do you think the Mets can split this series, or do you think the Yankees are going to secure this home series sweep? I, you know, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, the one thing I look at is uh, the Mets have their bull, key bullpen pieces rested. Um, you know, uh, Edwin Diaz will, will be fully rested, and they got the Lugo out of Vino. Uh, so... They're in good shape in that regard. Uh, you know, the Mets uh, ha haven't really seen Frankie Montes before. So, uh, listen, it could go either way. It it'll come down to what happened. You know, I think uh, they they've, they've got to get a quality start out of Walker coming back. Uh, you know, if he has any kind of injury and they have to go into long relief there, then it becomes a problem. But, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to make any prediction, but uh, I, I think we'll have a good game. Ah, I was going to try to get you on a prediction. <laughs> but all right, uh, the Bombers and the Amazons wrap up the Subway Series tonight on SNY. You sure, Mike? No predictions? You sure? Nah, no ah, prediction. I tried to get you, but thanks for your time, man. Nice try. <laughs>